everyone, Dan here from the Diamond Minecart, and welcome back to Pixelmon on the private whitelisted Pixel Core server, where today we're going to go over what we did last time and also deal with what we did last time. So, last time what we did is we, we almost caught a shiny graveler and, and then didn't. Do, 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 you know, do you know why Widget? Do you know why we didn't do it? Yeah, that's exactly right. That's because I didn't have any Pokeballs. Ugh, what is wrong with me? And also, Justin is online and he told me this really cool fact. Apparently, Sableyes drop diamonds at a 40% rate. Are you kidding me? That's incredible. So, I assume he's off finding um, Sableyes at the minute, but we're going to go and do the same thing. Um, let's go and see, actually. Um, let's go and come on, Widget. Let's go. Let's go and see if it's night or day, because I'm assuming they would be more prominent in the night. And we also need to try out Gengar, but... Ah, oh, it's daytime. But um, let's go and see if we can find some anyway. Um, but yeah, what was, what was I going to say? Oh, we've got a Sableye. I'm not, not going to just farm that one. That's one that I own. So I own a diamond a diamond dropping god right now. Um, so what I was going to say is Gengar is a psychic type, which is weak to dark type, which is what Sableye is. So that is probably a little bit of a dodgy one to um, to fight with. But Gengar's super powerful. So let's see if we can find any Sableyes. I imagine they're going to be at night. So let's come back at night. Actually, let's test out our Gengar first because we haven't really done any fighting with him. And James... Is that you, James? <laughs> I don't think that's quite you. You look a little bit different, buddy. But um, let's take him out. Oh, Gengar, what are you doing? Um, fire, you initiate a battle. I can't even speak. You initiated a battle with James. It's not too bad. Shadow Ball, take out this. Oh, he just destroyed him. He Gengar. just destroyed him. You've got a camera up now. Shadow Ball. Yes. Oh, man. Gengar went to level 45 and destroyed everyone. That is perfect. Gengar is a powerhouse. So he doesn't have that much health for a level 45. As you can see, all the rest are a little bit higher than him. But he's only got just over 100 health. Um, that's because he's weak, but he's a very, very powerful guy. So when it gets to nighttime, we should go out searching Sableyes and see um, if there's any. Because I'm pretty sure I've seen some chilling around the um, the desert area. And I'll also check where um, where they spawn as well. See if there's a certain biome that they spawn in too. And if there is, then we're going to go there and hunt Sableyes for a little bit. Oh, you kind of came, came through the ceiling there, buddy. Um, what we also need to do is make some Pokeballs because... We didn't last time because we're absolutely terrible. So what we need to do is grab this black apricorn and plant it. And then we need to grab these yellow ones because we need yellow and black, I think it is, to make them. We've got cooked black apricorn here. Kurt's apprentice achievement. That's very nice. Thanks for that. Um, and I can't remember what we do with these now. Do we put them in? I think we put... It might be two yellow and one black. Oh, these need to be cooked. Okay, we've got any cooked yellow ones. I don't think we do. Let's cook some yellow ones, shall we, Widget? Let's just cook those, and then we can make Ultra Balls. And this is a good time to quickly tab out and have a look at Sableye um, Pixelmon. So he lives in the Extreme Hills, which is close to here, I think. But anyway, let's make some Ultra Ball first. Um, at least one, because we do one of these... And then we need to literally farm as many... Where did I put the black ones? Oh, there they are. They're kind of like a little bit, um, what's it called, uh, camouflaged. And then I think we pop them in here. No, what are we doing? Where's my Where's my anvil gone? Where did that go? Where's my Pokeball anvil go? Did I lose it? How did we make one of those? I completely forgot. Let me just turn on this. Let's go for... Oh, I could have just looked up on here. What's wrong with me? Um, is it Pokeball anvil we need? We need... Um, yeah, not the normal one. We need one of these. Oh, I need some more iron. Oh, man. My anvil went missing. I've got a normal one here. This is a Minecraft one. I need a Pokeball one. Um, I've still got my hammer, I think, somewhere. Is it in here? Is it? Is it? Is it? Is it? Is it? Yep, I've got an iron hammer here. I used to have a diamond one, but I don't know where that's gone. That might be upstairs somewhere. So come on, Widget, let's go. And let's go to some extreme hills as well. Almost forgot where my secret exit was. Is it in here? There's nothing in there that's going to help us. I um, almost forgot where my secret exit was. It's not so secret anymore, though, because everyone knows where it is. <laughs> oh, dear. Right then, let's go up here. And um, we need to find what kind of stuff we've got. We need... Hmm, is there anything we need in here? We've got orbs in here. We might be able to um, catch more legendaries soon, but I'll update you on that soon. Um, iron, I'm really looking for. So we've got 47. We can definitely make a new one. Um, it was like this, wasn't it? Nope. Almost, almost remembered it perfectly. So we've got our Pokeball Anvil just here. Let's pop this back in where we got it from, because that would make sense. 
Um, not the shovel. Oh god, I'm getting getting all confused right now. Let me put the shovel back. And where is my diamond? I had a diamond one. Not sure where it is. I've got a stone hammer. Excuse me, widget. I'm gonna have to shut the door on you, buddy. Get out of here. <laughs> oh no, I made him sit. I didn't mean to do that. That was a bit mean. Right then, let's go and see. There's nothing in here, I don't think. No, nothing in there. I swear I had one, but anyway, let's go back downstairs. Maybe someone's nicked it. Maybe. Hmm, maybe. Now that my my um secret lab isn't so secret anymore, maybe someone's found one. But anyway, let's go and pop this back down where it should be and it smashes up an ultra ball. So, um, that is wrong place. Wrong place. Let's just pick that up again, shall we? Let's try that again and pop it down here. So, what we can do now is get this ultra ball disc, plop that on there and then grab our whatever we put in here, our iron hammer, and then we keep on hitting it, and as you can see, it kind of changes shape, and then eventually it will pop out and give us an ultra ball lid. So we've got an ultra ball lid and ultra ball base, and now all we need is a button. Um, do we need a smooth stone for a button? I think we do. Let me just quickly check, because I completely forget every single time. Type in butt, <laughs> and we get, yes, yeah, smooth stones. Let's just make a few of those. Let's make uh, one, two, three. For a repeat ball, it's not very good, is it? We definitely need some more black apricorn. So this one is growing. I have no bones. Oh, I have bones on me. Let me see if I can quickly see if I can help this along. Yes, there we go. Nice. Oh, we can harvest the... Yes. Let's just use all of these. Nice. Look at that. We just made apricorns out of nothing. <laughs> That's awesome. Right then, so we've got some extra ones. We can smelt these later. But for now, we're just going to make one Ultra Ball. And then um, we'll sort that out later. All right then. Let me go back into a crafting table. Put this, a button, and a base. And there we go. An Ultra Ball has been born. Got to catch them all. Of course you do. And now we can cook these. And we're going to cook the black ones as well. But um, for now, we're going to store these in here. And go and find us some Sableyes in the Extreme Hills. This is going to be exciting. It's going to be worth it. It's going to be worth it. With diamonds, I think they, it's a 40% drop. But they drop 1 to 3. That's incredible. I mean, wow. It's good that Pixelmon is kind of updated to a way that we can find good Pokemon. But also keep our resources going as well without having to mine and stuff. So come here, Zapdos. Let's go for a little fly, shall we? Can you not fly? Yeah, of course you can. Right, then let's go this way, shall we? Go over to... I'm pretty sure this is the extreme hills over here where James and Team Blockit kind of live. What has happened over... Right, wait a second. What's happening over here? Justin? Justin, what are you doing, buddy? He's making something. He's making... So oh, he's making like a breeding thing. I forgot to research that. Oh my goodness, what's wrong with me? Right then, are we in the extreme hills? We are, so we're on the edge of it. So let me just retrieve Zapdos and Widget's with us, of course. And let's go and find us some Sableye. Thinking about it, there are usually Sableye around here. And of course, James has made his base in where all the Sableyes are going to be. So if we kind of go a little bit deeper. Look, look at that flying animation. Oh my goodness. It's so good. It's so good. Stay away from me, Geodude. You're going to get pounded if you, if you come anywhere near me. Right then. There's loads of Star Ravias around here. There's tons of them. There's a little Star Lee. Is that a Star Lee? Yeah, it is. Got a Piggy as well. Of course. Um, an Onyx. I thought that was just a bunch of rocks. But I guess that's what Onyx is. James is incredible headquarters. Still so jealous of his building skills. And it looks like wool affects... Is this wool? I don't know if that's wool or clay. I can't really work it out. But I think um, that must be what affects the breeding. So I'm going to have to explore that in the next episode. And we'll do some breeding. And oh, we could breed. <laughs> oh, this is going to be grim. Um, we should breed our Sableyes. Oh, no, I was going to say, and then we can harvest their diamonds. But we can't kill a Pokemon that we own, can we? I don't think we can. That would be pretty dark. But anyway, speaking of dark, it's getting dark, which hopefully means there's some Sableyes around here. I want to at least grab some diamonds from one. There must be some Sableyes around here somewhere. We're in the extreme hills. I don't really want to go any higher. But we should be able to find some, surely. Because I remember seeing a ton of them at some point. It must be in the dark. What is that one over there? I saw something over there and despawned. What was that? What was that? There was something here. I need to look back when I'm editing. There was definitely something here. Maybe it was just like a Star Ravia. Just chilling. Right then. The cafe have started spawning. I think they have the same spawn conditions as Sableye. I've got some more Starlies. Star Ravias. Another Starly. Uh, Sableye. S Sableye, where are you? 
<gasps> there he is. There he is. It's a Sableye. I see you. <laughs> Look at that cheeky smile. Come here, Sableye. I'm going to take you down. Oh, I didn't mean to send out Zapdos. Uh, I guess he would do the work, but I want to train up Gengar a little bit. Gengar. Only at level 16, so he should be good. A Shadow Ball. Take him out. <gasps> Look at that. Look at that right there. Two diamonds. I just received two diamonds from Sableye. It's oh, oh, wait, wait. So Sableye, for those of you that don't know, has like these diamonds for eyes. So did, did, did I just steal his eyes? I think that might be what happened there. That's weird. That's super weird. <laughs> I wonder if we can find any more because that is two diamonds that we have just saved time. Oh, is this another one? Yes. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Gengar, get out. I mean, get <laughs> Geo, dude. Get out of here. Got Nether Quartz and Cobblestone. That's kind of cool too. But look, if you look at a Sableye square in the eyes, Sableye, Sableye, buddy, he's running away from me. He knows what I want. He knows what I want. But um, Sableye, look at me. Look at his eyes. Look. Sableye. Oh, they're in his back as well. Oh, what's wrong with him? Sableye, come here. I want to look at you in the eyes, buddy. Diamond, diamond guy. Um, there he is. Look. He has diamonds for eyes. That is, that is creepy. I just took his eyes. I'm so sorry. Right then. I'm not sorry because I'm going to do it again. Sableye, come here. I need to battle you. Boom. There we go. Right in the back. Shadow Ball again. So powerful. A ghast tier and a diamond as well. That what a ghast tier looks like. What's wrong with that? That's like a, I don't even, what is that? I'm trying to discuss, like think of what that is from Pokemon. I don't even know what that is. Looks like a hood. What's going on? <laughs> That's so weird. But let's see if we can find any more. Because this is perfect. I've got three diamonds from two Sableyes. So that past Sableye kept one of his eyes. The other one wasn't so lucky. But I've also read that they, they can even drop two. Which is... Oh no. Snorlax. Really? Um, Ghost doesn't work. Dark Pulse? That's not too bad. Oh, it's super effective. Oh, I'm in trouble. I'm in major trouble. He used sleep talk. He's not even asleep, but that's fine. Gengar is paralyzed. Gengar, come on, buddy. You psychic. Yes, I got an, ap <laughs> an apple. Be beautiful. Swineup, you can have this apple. Have the apple. It's okay. Right then. We need to get back into the extreme hills to find some more Sableye. Because this is perfect. I'm not sure what we're going to use diamonds for. Maybe some that's pretty swanky looking. <gasps> that Hitmonchan is tiny. I need you. Should we try and capture this guy? I don't know. Look how small he is. Why are you so small, bro? Let's do a little bit of a, hmm, a dark pulse. Oh, that's not too bad. Let's see if we can capture him. The tiniest Hitmonchan in the world. Let's see if we can go to bag, Pokeballs. I've only got one Ultra Ball. Let's see if we can use a Safari Ball to capture him. I don't know if that's going to work, though. Um, I want to capture this smallest Hitmonchan in the universe. Oh, no, he got out. No, 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 you can't do this. Um, uh, 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 none of them are going to work. I'm just going to have to kill him. I haven't got enough Pokeballs. So that's another Pokeball that I have missed out on because I don't have enough Pokeballs. I don't really want to use my Ultra Ball on that. Wow, that is a full pull. Look at all these pokes. So many pokes in one place. That's incredible. But I'm sorry, Pokes, I'm going to leave you all there. Actually, that's probably better for you because I didn't want to destroy you. Um, I, I'm on the search for Sableyes only at the moment. But I think I should go... I think I should go back through that gap and see if I can find any more. Because I want to harvest these diamonds as much as possible. Because this is the perfect chance. But I guess we will come across them uh, every now and then as well in our little adventures. So... What we're going to do next time, that guy just despawned. That was freaky. Um, next time, we are going to have a look at the breeding techniques. You're, you're a bit lost, Seal. You should be near the water, buddy. Oh, there he is. Save like, oh, there's two. There's two. Let's see how many we can get out of here. Um, go. There we go. Right, let's take him out in one shot. Boom. Two diamonds again. Got his eyes. Where is that other one? There he is. Let's see if we can hit him from here. Nope, that was terrible. Gengar, that was, that was the worst mountain climbing I've ever seen. Come here, Sableye. Come here. Oh, I want to fight you. Gengar. No, Gengar. Gengar, no, come here. There we go. <laughs> I can't even fight this guy. Sableye, I want to take your diamonds. This guy's a little bit more powerful. He's a level 29. Oh, my goodness. This is going so wrong. How did that not activate the battle? How am I failing so bad? There we go. Finally, another Shadow Ball to the face for you. All right, still took him out. Two more diamonds. Nether Quartz as well. Jeez, this is incredible. Wow. Um, I don't know what to say, Widget. This is the best. Thank you, Justin, for letting me know about that. <laughs> so it looks like they only spawn at the night in the extreme hills. 
and they are harvesting diamonds like absolute crazy. I'm not sure if they did this before. Maybe that's how James got so many diamonds. I'm not even sure. But that's incredible. Sableyes are dropping their eyes everywhere to give us diamonds. How many have I got now? Seven, just from one trip? I imagine if I do this a little bit off camera, I'll be able to find tons of them. What can we make with diamonds that are from Pixel One? We've got block of diamond. That looks kind of cool. Oh, we get really cool trainer armor. A jukebox, enchantment table, of course. Look at these. Look, you can get like the full on Pokemon trainer things. That looks awesome. So we've got diamond hammer, a healer, which you already have. The new running boots. I haven't seen those before. An item finder. Bug gem, water gem. Um, I don't know what those do. I think those power up moves every now and then. But yeah, wow. You can't actually make too much with diamonds, but the new running shoes. Should we make those now? Let's make those now to end out an awesome episode. And we've got Skarmory there as well. Let's go. Let's go back to the house and I'll meet you guys there. Look at that gold bat. <laughs> that gold bat is hilarious. Look at him just twitching his wings in the air. That's nothing compared to the Star Ravia, buddy. Not, not good at all. <laughs> oh, just in some breeding Pokemon, I was just telling him I went um, Sableye hunting, which is awesome. So why did I... Wh wait, why, why did I come back here? Oh, yeah, we're supposed to... Um, wait a second. Um, I'm going to... What was I going to do? Oh, I need some iron to make these new running shoes. So I need um, two iron. And then I also need... Let me just quickly have a look at what I need. I've still got butts here. Wow. Um, running, um, wait, 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 run, um, old running shoes, new running shoes. Do they give up? this is 50% speed, I wonder if this is 100, so we need the old ones, are they gonna work? Oh yeah, they're at full durability, nice, so two iron, two feathers, must have feathers somewhere, there we go, two feathers, let me just pop this away, um, and put those feathers here, and I think we've got enough, let's go, let's go for this. The running shoes that we have on, we need to take off. So, old ones. These better be better. They're costing me two diamonds. But now diamonds are almost disposable, which is insane. And then put two feathers here. We have the new running boots. Let's try these bad boys out. So, we've got... We should have speed. Um, let's see how fast they are. Are they faster? I'm not really sure. They seem pretty nice, though. Yeah, they, they've got to be faster. Look at this speed I'm getting now. Oh, yes. This is fantastic. Absolutely fantastic. Yes. You got, you can't keep up with me, Widget. You can't keep up with me. So thanks so much for watching today's episode, guys. That was pretty productive. That wasn't what I planned to do today, but we got some new running shoes. We've got little feathers on the side and stuff. And we also got tons of more... Wait, tons more diamonds. I can't even speak properly. So yeah, if you play Pixelmon, definitely check out the Sableyes, especially in 1.7. So next time we're going to get into breeding a little bit more. Looks like the other guys have started, but um, we're going to get into it too. So yeah, thank you so much for watching. If you did enjoy, please leave a big fat thumbs up. And also, if this happens to be the first video you've seen by me, then please do subscribe and join Team TDM today for daily Minecraft videos and keep up with the Pixel 1 series as well. Oh, oh, no, Cactus need to be careful in these new running shoes. <laughs> and we will see you all next time. Goodbye!